Hello everybody, we're here live at the Action Duchenne Conference 2018. I'm here with wonderful Lizzie Diebel. Hi. <laughs> Lizzie, do you want to tell us a little bit about your journey in, um, well, your journey from diagnosis into the Duchenne community? Um, so my son, Sebastian, well, is four and a half now. He was diagnosed in um, October 2016. Um, so we got a phone call um, after our second visit to a paediatrician who told us there was nothing wrong but she did some blood tests to rule things out and um, we got a phone call to say his CK level was um, very high and that the only thing she could think it was was muscular dystrophy and given his age it was probably Duchenne um, and we were then in a... In a um, we went through the diagnostic process and um, I was 34 weeks pregnant with his brother at the time um, which obviously added a whole other element um, because while we were going through the genetic testing we obviously a main concern was, was that he was also if I was a carrier he had a 50-50 chance of having it we found out the following to January 17 um, after um, a, Sebastian's blood tests had had to go through three lots of genetic screening because he has a really really rare um, mutation so he doesn't have a deletion or a duplication he has a splice mutation um, which they hadn't seen that specific, in a specific way before um, and he also had to have a muscle biopsy because he, they hadn't seen it before they wanted to confirm Duchenne. Um, we then found out that I am not a carrier, so Toby as well, and doesn't have Duchenne. Um, and so quite soon after, um, I think it was, I, kn I know Lynette weirdly through a random family friend connection, we kind of have a mutual family friend and this mutual family friend said to me, I know of someone who, whose little boy was diagnosed with Duchenne last year and maybe it would be helpful for you to give him a call. And I gave her a call and, um, and then sort of got involved from there really. Mm. Yeah. Wonderful. And so you've been involved in the community for a while now. Uh, what kind of advice would you give to somebody who's kind of just starting out on their journey and has maybe just been diagnosed yesterday? Um, lots of advice really. Uh, first of all, make contact with other families because um, for me that really helped because I think you can feel very alone. Um, and in lots of cases, the medical support that you will get for your son, um, you know, you won't be necessarily offered any support through those services so kind of go and look for it and you know phone phone action to share and phone phone um, people who might be able to make you feel like you're not on your own because you're not and there are lots of people to give you support and help and um, give yourself time to feel the grief and and loss that comes with a Duchenne diagnosis um, and accept that it's okay to find it hard and um, but there are people to help you yeah. And also you have a blog on Duchenne and your journey. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? So it was about a year after Sebastian was diagnosed, I found that I just found, wanted to find a way of doing two things. And one was working through some of the feelings I had about it. Mm. And obviously that's private, but at the same time, I felt I feel with Duchenne that so many people don't know really what it's about and the, and the kind of complexities of it and also don't um, necessarily feel they can ask. Um, but want to understand and so it's a kind of way of communicating about our life with Duchenne um, and getting that out to a wider audience and raising awareness of what the disease really means when you live with it every day um, and at the same time I do find it quite therapeutic because it helps me to write it all down and it helps me make sense of what's going on in my head um, and quite a few people have said to me that they find it helpful in that it make, gives them a greater understanding um, and I know that when Sebastian was first diagnosed, I, I remember staying up night after night searching the internet for, for something that would help me and um, help me feel like I wasn't alone. So I also kind of hope that someone might do that and come across my blog and realise that they're not on their own. Yeah. No, I think it's a brilliant part of the community that everyone can kind of give their own yeah. experiences to each other. Yeah, kind of. definitely.